You know, these retro games can be fun, but I wonder if there's a way you could run PC games on a Raspberry Pi. Let's find out. Stay tuned. Have you ever thought it would be cool to run a modern PC game on a Raspberry Pi? Well, today, I'm not going to show you how to do that because honestly, it's just not possible. The processor and graphics in a Raspberry Pi, even a Raspberry Pi 4, is just not capable of running a modern game. These are more suited for retro games. However, today, I am going to show you how to play a modern PC game on a Raspberry Pi. And for that, we're going to use a program called Steam Link. Steam Link allows you to stream a game from a Windows PC to another device. It was originally made so you can play your Steam games on your cell phone. However, there's an experimental package for RetroPie that will allow you to do it in a Raspberry Pi. So let me show you how to install it. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is go into the RetroPie menu and we want to go down into RetroPie Setup. And then we're going to want to go down into Update RetroPie Setup Script. I'm going to go ahead and hit Yes. And once this is done, we're going to go back into RetroPie Setup by hitting OK. And now we're going to want to go to Manage Packages. From Manage Packages, you want to scroll down to Manage Experimental Packages. And from here, we want to scroll down until we find Steam Link. All right, we want to click on Steam Link, and we want to hit Install from Precompiled Binary. And then hit Yes, and it'll go ahead and install Steam Link. Now, this is going to take a minute to install, so I will skip ahead to when it's installed. All right, once it's set up, go ahead and click back, click back again, click back again, and then we're going to want to go down and hit Perform Reboot and reboot our Raspberry Pi. Okay, while we're waiting for this thing to reboot, I just wanted to go over a few of the things that you're going to need in order to set up Steam Link. The first one is going to be you're going to want to connect your Raspberry Pi to the same network that your Windows PC is on. I highly recommend using Ethernet for this. If you do use wireless though, you can probably get away with using a five gigahertz wireless network. I wouldn't try doing this under 2.4 gigahertz wireless. It's just not enough bandwidth for what you're gonna need. And also, you're gonna need a keyboard and mouse to set this up originally. I have a wireless keyboard and mouse here set up. You're only gonna need that for the very beginning when you first set everything up. You shouldn't have to leave a keyboard and mouse connected all the time. It's just for the the initial setup. So now that the Raspberry Pi is rebooted, let's go ahead and get into it and I'll show you how to set up Steam Link. So now that the Raspberry Pi is rebooted, if we go over here, you'll notice that we have a new menu selection called Ports. We open that up and you'll see Steam Link in there. And we're going to go ahead and hit A to start it. And the first time it fires up, it's going to have to install some update packages. If you're used to using Steam, you're used to how often it needs to update. I haven't used this enough to be able to say how often you need to do updates on your Steam Link package. But when you do do updates, you actually, this is what you need the keyboard and mouse for. So you may need to keep a keyboard and mouse handy. So just like this, what I need to do is hit yes to tell it to continue and hit enter. And for that, I need a keyboard. I can't figure out how to say yes on a control yet. So we're going to go ahead and let it set up initially. Now press enter to continue. Go ahead and hit enter. And hit enter one more time and we should go into Steam Link now. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. It's searching for computers running Steam and it's found my computer. I'm going to go ahead and hit A. And now you need to enter this number into the computer running Steam. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, and once you enter that number, it'll go ahead and test your connection between your Raspberry Pi and your Windows PC.
All right, we've got 90 megabytes a second over a gigabit network. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. OK, and before you start playing, there's one thing that you're going to want to do. You want to go ahead, and this is why you need your mouse. You want to go ahead and click on the settings right here, this little gear, and you want to click on your controller, and we're going to configure our controller here. So we're going to go down, hit Setup Controller, and we're just going to map all the buttons the way they're supposed to be mapped. All right, on my controller, I don't have the extra button, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Skip. And I don't have any paddles, so I'm going to hit Skip on these as well. And there we go. So from there, we're going to go ahead and click back a couple times and then click on Start Playing. And this is going to open right up to our library and we can go ahead and fire up a game here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Grand Theft Auto and click on Play. And it's just going to take a second to fire up. All right, and here we go. We're now in the game and we're playing it on a Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. I never thought I'd be able to see a game like this actually on a Raspberry Pi. You know, the more I play this, the more I have to keep reminding myself that this is in fact a Raspberry Pi. It's just truly amazing to me. Alright, so what we can do now is I want to go ahead and do a comparison between the Steam Link and the PC so you can see the difference in the graphics and how they're rendered. So let's do that right now. As you can see from the side-by-side -side comparisons, it, the graphics are actually pretty good. There's a little noticeable difference between the Steam Link stream and the PC itself, but honestly, I think that's really livable. So that'd all be up to you on whether or not you can live with that, but I know I can. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, then please like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video, every week. And hey, before you go, check out a couple of these videos. Have a great day.